Hey guys, today I'm filming my seventh update for my rolling a sample project pan. I am so excited for this update because I finished everything with the exception of one item and I feel really, really happy about that. And I think that's because I'm filming this update a little bit late. So I had a little bit more time to work on these items. So this is definitely going to be a longer update because I'm going to be reviewing all the things I finished and then showing you all the new products I will be bringing in. And we will just jump in with the reviews of the finished items. So starting with the hair care products I had a foil sample of the living proof perfect hair day shampoo and conditioner I really like this scent it made my hair super soft but this would be a great shampoo and conditioner system for people that have dry roots I have very very oily roots so the shampoo did not work with my hair my hair felt so dirty and greasy the day after I washed it and I usually go every other day washing my hair and I usually wash it at night. The next morning I was brushing my hair and it felt so, so greasy and gross. So for me, the shampoo is a no. I really did enjoy the conditioner. It was awesome, but I don't think it worked any better than my favorite L'Oreal Ever Pure conditioner. So this is not something I see myself repurchasing. Then I finished my deluxe size hair mask. This is the Joyco K-Pack Color Therapy Luster Lock Intense Shine and Repair Treatment you guys. I know this is a pricey brand, but they go on sale from time to time at Ulta. The smell of this is amazing. It smells like salon quality hair products, and I loved using this as a deep conditioner. I don't know if it made my hair look extra shiny. I feel like my hair isn't super dull or super shiny naturally. It's just like regular hair. I don't know. But I think that this conditioned my hair super well. It made my hair feel really smooth and soft. So this is something that I could see myself purchasing. If, so this is something I could actually see myself purchasing if I could get it on sale and I would just use it as a regular conditioner, but super moisturizing and I love the scent. Next, I finished the Philosophy Purity Cleanser and I've been using this for a couple months now and I told you guys in my last update that I was going to try this out as a makeup remover and I did try that and it worked really well. It did break down all of my face and eye makeup and I do have really sensitive eyes and I felt like my eyes were a little stingy afterwards, but not that bad considering that I like really dig into my eyes because I wear a lot of makeup so I thought this was a really good makeup remover it performed so much better than I actually thought it would in that capacity and then I basically did one layer for makeup removal and then another layer for cleansing and it did a really nice job this is a super gentle cleanser it has a really nice pleasant scent I know a lot of people don't like the scent of this but I think it's just super clean and fresh this is a good product, but I really don't love it as much as I used to. If I'm wanting more of a basic cleanser, I actually prefer the Mario Badescu Acne Facial Cleanser because that makes my face feel really, really fresh because of the ingredients and the texture and the scent. So even though I really enjoy this, this is not something I see myself repurchasing. Then we had my two serums. So for the daytime, I was using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster Hydro Plump Serum. I was really nervous that this was going to make me super greasy because it's summertime. I'm at my oil and I thought oh my gosh this is hydrating I don't know if that's a good idea this is probably better for nighttime and surprisingly I really enjoy this I think it went under makeup really well it did not make me any more oily but my skin did feel really hydrated and nourished and even though I actually really loved this one I didn't notice it doing much for my skin and I know that the main point of serums is to provide moisture I don't think I need a ton of moisture in my skin but at the same time I know that sometimes our skin produces more oil if we're using too many oil control products so maybe this would be a good product for my routine I don't know I actually would think about purchasing this because I think it works really well with my skin but it's not a necessary product for me because I didn't notice a ton of results so this is a maybe but I liked it way better than I thought I would and then my nighttime serum was the Lancome Genifique youth activating concentrate this is fine I also feel like this hydrated my skin a decent bit people wear by this stuff and I don't know if it's because I'm not really into anti-aging skincare and that I'm 26 years old that I don't see the results that so many other people see so I'll be happy to use up samples of these if I get them but this is not something I see myself purchasing. Next we have my moisturizer so for the daytime I was using the Olay Henriksen counterbalance oil control hydrator so I've used this up in a foil sample before and I actually liked it more this time than I did in the foil sample and I think I just have gotten used to the product so 
This does have a very strong peppermint scent. At first that bothered me, but then I got used to it and I kind of liked it because it was refreshing. Really nice in the summertime as well when it is a little bit more hot. And this is a product that I don't think meshes well with all matte primers, but I didn't really have too much trouble with this making primers pull up on my skin. It really just depends on the primers that I'm using. So this is a product that I like. I think it gives my oily skin the perfect amount of moisture, but there are other moisturizers that I think work just as well as this. So I would love to get more samples of it, but I don't think this is something I would purchase in the full size. And then I had two foil samples of daytime moisturizers as well. So this is the Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. I've also tried this in the past in a deluxe size sample. And this one is really nice. It doesn't have much of a scent at all. And this one works a little bit better than the counterbalance. It, gives my skin the perfect amount of hydration, but this one works well with all primers. I don't really seem to have difficulties with this moisturizer making my matte primers ball up. So if I had to pick one over the other, I would pick the Sheer Transformation, but they both work really well. Again, it's just pricing. I don't see it really being worth the price for me at this point. And then I had a little foil sample of the moisturizer I used up last month, I believe. It is the Bosha Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel. This also gives me a perfect amount of moisture. And what's weird is that this month I've been using my Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Those two products on top of each other did not work and it made that primer ball up. But today I used a different moisturizer in that primer and it's still balled up, which is weird. And I'm wondering if it's because of my Pixie Glow Mist that I've been using as a base. So I'll get back to you guys and let you know because I didn't really have too much trouble with this one when I used the big tube. So I'm not sure, but again, I do like this product. I like it just as much as the Ole Henriksen moisturizers, but I don't see enough of an amazing result that I would purchase in the full size as of now. Next, I had my nighttime moisturizer. This is the Fresh Black Tea Firming Corset Cream for face and neck. I only use this on my face. I don't drink black tea, and this seems like a little minty to me, like a mint leaf scent, not like a peppermint scent, which is really nice. I like the scent of this, but I did not love this product. This is very thick. It feels very thick on my face. A little bit does not go a long way. I feel like I really had to dig in to get my face fully coated and apply quite a bit of this, and it does not really sink into the skin quickly. So this is something that would definitely only be good for nighttime. I cannot see this be good even for dry skin during the day because putting your makeup on top of this, I just can't imagine. So this did moisturize my skin well, but I didn't like the way it felt on my skin. So this is not something I would repurchase. I did also finish a foil sample of a nighttime moisturizer. This is the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. And I think this is part of the 21 Days of Beauty from Ulta and it's still pretty pricey half off. So this product was much better as a night moisturizer because I did feel like it really hydrated my skin, but it did sink in pretty quickly. Not as much as my more mattifying daytime moisturizers, but really good for night. So I did really enjoy this one, but considering how expensive it is, and it is like a basic hydrating moisturizer for me, it's not something I would repurchase. The next item I finished, I can't believe it because I've been using this forever. This is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm, and it is completely used up. Now I am absolutely in love with the Belief True Cream moisturizing balm for the nighttime and the aqua balm for the daytime. I love those products so much and those are products that are so expensive in the full size but you get a time. I could maybe see myself buying the moisturizers in the future during a Sephora sale but the eye cream was just okay for me so I don't really know what I love in eye creams. I have more puffy under eyes with a little bit of creasing. I don't really have a ton of darkness, thankfully. So I really like eye creams that are hydrating and very smoothing. My favorite ones I've tried so far would be the Caudalie Resveratrol Lift Eye Lifting Balm. Of course, it's totally and freaking expensive. That's my favorite. But I also love the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. Those are my two faves. And this one was good, but I didn't like it as much as those two. So I would not repurchase it as of now. And then you guys, I can't believe I finally finished this. I finally used it and finished it. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I like using this about once a week if I make myself do it. Whenever I feel like my skin is looking a little clogged, my pores are clogged, I'm getting a good bit of acne, I really like putting this on my skin. So I just put it through my T-zone. I don't put it on my cheeks because my cheeks are not oily. I just put it on this part where I have pores, but I do notice that I leave this on for the recommended time, but when I rub it off, my skin is super red. It's not irritated, but it's just 
red, which is a little weird. I don't think I would buy this product, but I would be interested in buying some dupes of this. I have a Sephora mud mask that I need to try and see if it's comparable to this because I know that will be a fraction of the price. This is a good product. I do like it. I feel like my skin does feel a lot more cleansed and refreshed after I use this. Good product, but really crazy expensive. So those are all the products that I finished, and now I will tell you about the new things I'll be adding in. And I actually do have more than 10 items here, but I have like one product for every part of my skincare routine. I have some perfume samples and two hair products. So as I told you guys in my last update, basically through the end of the year or until whenever I use all these things up, I'm gonna be including a foil packet shampoo and conditioner sample as well as a deluxe size hair mask or deep conditioner to try to get all of those used up. So the foil packet shampoo conditioner I'll be using this month is the Marajo Nourishing Cleansing Cream and Deep Treatment Butter. I'm a little nervous about this because the names themselves sound like they're gonna be really hydrating and as I said I have very very greasy roots so we'll see if this makes my head a grease ball but I will use them anyway so pray for me and then my deep conditioning deluxe hair mask item is the living proof perfect hair day nightcap overnight perfecter I'm not using this in the way that you're supposed to I will not leave this in my hair overnight because I'd be greasy so I'm just going to use this as a deep conditioner in the shower so I will let you guys know how it works in that capacity but I've had this for a while and I really want to get through this this is the oldest hair mask in my collection I'm trying to use them up in the order that I received them so then for my skincare products this is something new to me this is the Garnier skin active micellar foaming gel cleanser it says it's an all-in-one rinse off gently foams to remove makeup cleanses and refreshes so this is is a deluxe size product it's really full and I'm gonna try using this as a makeup remover I'll try it as a cleanser as well but my main purpose for this is as a makeup remover and I love the Garnier makeup removers I've tried in the past so I have high hopes for this one I think it's gonna take me a long time to get through though then for my cleanser again I went with the oldest cleanser in my collection this is the Kate Somerville exfoliate so this is an exfoliator this is something I can use use probably two to three times a week's max so this is also going to take me a little bit to get through but I'm happy with that because I can also use the cleanser that's in my shower on the in-between days this next item is a full-size product but there isn't a ton of it left and I just want to use it up this is the pixie vitamin makeup mist and I didn't mark it I will after this update but I am all the way down here and this is something that I have used on and off just spray it on my face but I think the way that I'm going to use this up is using this morning and night mixed with my toner so I put toner on little cotton pads and then I've been going in with two spritzes of this product so I think that's just gonna be the best way for me to use this up this isn't something that does anything for my skin and I won't repurchase it but I just want to get this out of my skincare collection then we have my last two serums so usually it takes me like two months to use up these deluxe size serums maybe three months and unless I receive any more we're gonna be done with serums I do have one full-size product I had gotten from Amanda Alexander that I'm using whenever I'm in between serums but we'll see if I end up buying anything once I use all of these up so the daytime serum I have here is the bare mineral skin longevity vital power infusion this is something I've tried in the past and really enjoyed so I'll be using that for day and then for night I have the Estee Lauder advanced night repair again something that I have used in the past so then we have my two moisturizers for daytime I'll be using the dr. Brandt pores no more anti-aging mattifying lotion I think this will be best for me when I'm still pretty because even though it's technically September it is still 90 degrees here so I think this would be a perfect time to use this product and this is new to me so we will see what I think I'm a little nervous this won't mesh well with my primers since this is a matte moisturizer but we'll see and I'll let you guys know next month and then my nighttime moisturizer is something that I have used before this is the Clinique moisture surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator which I have enjoyed in the past so that is for night then my new eye cream will probably take me throughout the end of the year to finish and this is the Algenis Complete Eye Renewal Balm. I've tried this before in a foil sample but this is a technically a deluxe size but this is really big and full of product so like I said I think this will take me a really long time to get through and I'll use that morning and night. And then for my extra skin products I have the Skin Ink Pure Revival Peel. You guys will be so proud of me. I use this three times within the last month. 
ah, oh, no, I'm so proud of myself. It's really interesting. And I think I probably have one use left, maybe two, but probably one. And I've been trying to use this every Sunday. So hopefully I will be able, to, no, we have a wedding this Sunday. Anyway, I will definitely have this finished off by next month. And it's the last thing I do. And I'll review it for you guys next month. Then I decided to add in another mask since that one's almost done. And this is the Dr. Brandt Needles No More 3D Volumizing Mask. It is a small jar, so I think it shouldn't take me too long to get through this, but I need to be better about using masks. I need to make it more of a priority to do it once a week because I do have quite a few I need to get through. And the last item I have here would be a couple perfume samples. I've done a great job of going through them and getting rid of them right away if I don't like them, but these are a couple that I've held on to that I would like to go ahead and use up. So the first one I have, I actually have not smelled yet. I just got this in an Ulta order. It is the Viva La Juicy Soiree. I really love the other Viva La Juicy fragrances I've tried, so I figure why not? And then I have the Juicy Couture. I love Juicy Couture. I also have not tried this one, but I smelled it and it smells goodly good for fall. Then I have Juliet has a gun perfume in the scent Sunny Side Up. I haven't tried any of their fragrances before. And then I have this really, really weird sample of YSL Black Opium, one of my favorite perfumes. And then I don't know if I'm going to work on this one or not. This is a little baby perfume that my mom and sister had gotten me when they were overseas. And this is supposed to be like an actual like pure perfume. It is a itch voila. So let me smell this one right now to see if the scent would be even good for fall. Oh, I'm not wanting to make a mess. Mm, actually, I feel like I could use this spring or fall. So the other four will be my main priority. And then once I use those up, we'll see if I want to try to finish this one as well. So I'm really excited. I have so many items to work on and I hope that I'll have a few of these finished so I can give you some reviews next month. But I know this was a really long video and thank you so much. If you stuck through the whole thing, I would love to know your thoughts. If you tried out any of these products or if you have any skincare suggestions for me, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.